just a quick video on how that PWM works for the, the MK2 <clears throat> using some kind of automation software, which for me is brew control. So if we kind of look at our diagram here, you can see here's our pump control. It's at zero. It goes zero to 100. Uh, our flow is zero. We have a proportional valve here on the output, which is back into the boil kettle. So the loop is through here, through the mass flow meter, through the proportional valve, and back into the boil kettle. So you can see this is 100%. My valves are open. My pump is not on, but this is a, a non controlled circuit so it's just wide open so I'll show you how the flow control works so we'll from zero we'll just start at a hundred and we'll give it a couple seconds for the flow to normalize so Here's the flow rate. Should top out around 2.7 or so. We do have considerable restrictions since I have double stout counterflow chillers and stuff like that. So it'll normalize right around 2.7, 2.71, and that's wide open at 100%. And so it's just as simple as, you know, changing this. Let's go from 100 down to 30. So you'll see flow start dropping. I think 30 is roughly uh, a gallon a minute. So we'll let it normalize. It's around there. Um, so that's we just went from 2.7 to 1, um, without you know changing any valves on the output or anything like that. Just changing the percentage. We'll go down to 20. I think 20 is like uh, 0.2 or something like that. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's just PWM controlled on and uh, no, no restrictions on the output or anything like that. And you can dial in flow based on a percentage. The cool thing about that is obviously it's, it's RPM based. And so um, it's really nice and gentle on the wart because you're throttling the actual impeller head and not, you know, putting a ball valve on the output, which is keeping your impeller at full speed and, uh, just chopping up all those fats and proteins. So um, this works really well. Uh, I think 15% is, you know, 0.1. So basically you can go from zero to full flow, and that is actually uh, directly determining the RPM of the pump head. So I hope this helps, and uh, let me know.